super quiet here and I just wanted to give a little bit of an update. We're currently in Hitchin. I've dropped GB off in the Hermitage, which is one of our local coffee shops. I am off to run around and find just a few extra bits because as you know, I'm decorating his office as a surprise for his birthday, but I need a few decorating things that I hadn't thought about. If you know me quite well, you'll know that decorating is not my forte, so much so that it's been very, very expensive in the past. GB doesn't know anything about this yet. He only knows that the office is being sorted out. I've managed to get those few bits, polyfiller, sandpaper. Was there something else? Oh no! I was meant to get command hooks and I forgot some. I've got some at home, but I needed a few more. Oh, damn it. I'm not going back now because our time's about to run out on the car, unfortunately. Oh, so annoyed at myself. We're on our way back home now. And then GB is out this afternoon and I need to crack on. There is so much to do. What he doesn't know is I need to prep the walls and I need to do that in secret. Need to prep the walls ready for painting them on Monday. So I've got the rest of today, which is Saturday. Sunday, Monday will be the painting day. Tuesday, we'll be putting it all back together again. So whew, I really am quite nervous about all of this, especially because he doesn't know. Completely out of my comfort zone. We'll just see, see how it goes. Fingers crossed I can pull this off. know already my other half does not know that I'm doing anything I have been desperate for him to go out all of this morning and you know what men are like on a Sunday morning in the bathroom he's just left I've just seen his car go past didn't know what apron to put on so I put my cooking apron on <laughs> I know that Ikea stock these all the time so I thought it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter if this becomes my decorating apron what have I done so far I've used some poly filler in a few holes. Didn't have one of those polyfiller filler knife things, but I did have a butter knife. So I've used that. I need to go and give that a really good clean now. <laughs> I'm gonna open the windows wide. I'm gonna put the fan on. It's a really hot day today in the UK. I'm gonna put my radio on and I'm gonna embrace this, embrace the experience. Let's hope it's not a shit show. I've just opened up the paint and it is such a lovely color. I love this colour. So this is what's going on that wall. Isn't that gorgeous? My first tip is, rather than paying for decorators blankets or decorators sheets or whatever they're called, I just bought a fitted sheet, which was so much cheaper. When we had the bathroom decorated, the bathroom designer helped me with painting. So I learned a lot of skills from him. And he said he always puts his paint on top of a bin bag. So he said, make sure you've got plenty of bin bags and that just helps with cleaning. Tin foil over the paint pot just to keep the lip nice and clean so that when you put the lid on, it's easy and you don't get that sticking. And also I've just put some tin foil at the bottom just to really help with keeping things clean really. Oh my God. got two coats on you can see I'm just having a look in the camera lens you can see where it's drying I was a bit concerned because I thought this is this is too dark olive green is a dark color but I thought this is more army green anyway it's drying such a lovely color I don't know what it looks like on the screen I've said already styling no problem decorating 
huge issues, but so far, so good. The only concern I have is that it will dry even, but I'm not gonna know that until it's dry. I have one other concern, is that the matte paint will go shiny, because I've done that before, where it's like matte, and then there's just this sheen everywhere. And that's my biggest stress. I've got to be a little bit quiet because he's in the other room watching the cricket. Tell you what I found incredibly useful today. I found a piece of cardboard. It's one with a very straight edge. I've just put this down and just gone along. If you follow my summer diaries, you will know that I'm in the 5.30 a.m. club, but tomorrow I'm gonna set my alarm for quarter to five or five. I'll see how tired I am. I went into the other room to see GB and I hadn't checked my face. Let me just quickly check it now in the, in the camera. No, there's no green, is there? There is on my dress. I've told him that I'm cleaning the carpet. I've been in here all day. What have I been doing in here all day? There's nothing in here of his. I keep telling him I'm in the bedroom sorting stuff out. It's empty. I'm looking for sandpaper. Only five minutes later, I found it. still very nervous that it's not going to dry even so I am feeling a bit anxious about that. The sun keeps coming in and out today. Honestly it's so hot in the UK today, typical isn't it? The day you want to decorate the sun comes out. I've just opened up the paint pot of the other colour. This is Johnstone's and it's China clay. Don't those colours look great together? It was inspired by a magazine I had seen although the colours were were by the same brand and I've switched, I've got two different brands. Don't come in, will you? Wrap it round the top of the paint. I didn't have something long enough to um, stir the paint up with, so I used this. For the olive green wall, I used a straw to mix up the paint. But this is the bigger part, so I needed to find something bigger. So I've used this. Obviously, it will have a really good clean before we use it. We don't eat meat, so it's really for decoration. Who loves decorating, by the way? Some people I know will decorate their place and then just start decorating again. Or if they're bored at the weekend, they'll just say, oh, we're going to decorate a room. I'm absolutely knackered. I really need to wait till the morning now so that I can carry on. Crumpets and Marmite on toast, bed, and I'm going to get up for 5 a.m. Hopefully, if I can get up earlier, I will. See you in the morning. Good morning. Things are not good here. It's currently 10 past 5 in the morning. I've been awake since half past 4, and the wall is patchy. And it's my fault. I've applied the paint wrong. So annoyed at myself. This is just really not what I need. I started Googling last night. Maybe I should have done this before, but I Googled last night how to paint a wall. There was me yesterday, just willy nilly, you know, painting. And basically the advice is you need a roller with a long handle and you go up and down, finishing on a down stroke. And then when you get your new paint and then overlap by half. Why did I not YouTube this before? Please, please do not do this when you are painting. As the guys on these YouTube videos said, on adverts 
on TV, whenever you see somebody paint, you see somebody paint like this. GB could see the concern on my face yesterday that he has said, I don't need to be worried and I don't need to be stressed. I don't know what's going on in there. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't know the half of it. I went to bed last night really concerned and quite stressed. <laughs> It's GB's birthday today and I was hoping to get this done by the end of tomorrow. I need to do the first wall again. I'm trying to laugh, but honestly, inside, I am so stressed about this. I was watching these YouTube clips last night for about two hours. One of these videos had six million views. Six million! It's GB's birthday. I need to make a fuss of him this morning. Obviously, because it's his birthday. But I also need to crack on. <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to do? Make myself a very strong coffee. I'm going to need it today. I'm currently waiting for B&M to open at eight o'clock. Welcome to my life. I'm here to pick up one of those long handle uh, doodah things for the decorating. I'm really hoping that they've got one. I was thinking about that at half past four this morning. <laughs> They're opening the doors. They are opening the doors. Are they open? I think they're open. Right, I'm going in. Gonna grab some more masking tape. Right, let's go around and see if they've got these long things. Please have them. What are these? I think I've got them. Look. This is what we need. All right, it's 8.25. I'm back home from BM. It literally is just around the corner from us and I am fully motivated to go. I managed to find what was recommended. So the idea is that you've got two hands up and down, up and down, and that is what I'm going to do. The paintwork that I've done this morning in that technique is perfect. So I'm really happy about that. Excellent, right, let's get going. It's a nice color, isn't it, this? Looks quite nice against the green. The priority right now is sorting out this wall. Something. I absolutely know what I've done. I've just finished the sanding. The paint was on too thick. I was using the roller in all directions. fan on, open the windows, and then I'm gonna switch over all of my dust sheets so that I can do the wall on the other side to this wall. It's now 1 p.m. I have just finished a second coat. This paint dries so fast. This is the Johnstone one. It dries so nicely and I've got no concerns about the paint. So I want to see how long that paint takes to dry, the olive green. I must be dry by now. It went on at nine and it's now one, so it must be dry. I am in a pickle and I don't know what to do. This green paint colour is gorgeous, but the application of it is terrible. So now I have mastered the main part of the wall. But let me show you what I mean about where you can see the roller brush and I really don't understand it. It's almost like chalky and I'm just not applying it correctly. I've done exactly the same thing everywhere else with a different colour and a different brand and it's been absolutely fine. I just love the colour so much, but it's just, it's just not right. This has had four coats on it now and it's still, 
it's still not going on the same way as the other paint. It just doesn't want to go on the wall very nicely. So that's where we're up to. I have learned so much today though. The main thing being that this is the reason why we pay for a decorator to come in because it's a nightmare to do it by yourself. It's a learning curve. But I don't know if it's me or if it's the paint. So who knows? Best friend to the rescue, she's gonna come and collect me so that I can go and find some matching paint. I'm so lucky to have her. The color that I've gone for is natural sage. It's a little bit lighter than the current wall. When I was looking through the paint brochures, John Stone had suggested China clay and this natural sage go together. The common ground of your friends is where I find you. Different kinds of moments. Measured out in scars. You show. It's super hot in the UK today. What a day to choose to do decorating and cleaning and sorting, honestly. I decided to get freshened up to do the styling just because I was so hot. And I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna need another freshen up as soon as I've sorted this office out. Oh, I was just checking to see if that's a delivery. We've got a few things arriving. A couple of days before my other half's birthday, I just randomly said to him in conversation over lunch break, would you like me to sort your office out for your birthday? I was fully expecting him to say no because I've asked him before and he always says no. This time he said yes. I just want this done. He's home at five, it's now three. Do you actually think I'm gonna get this office styled in two hours? I really don't think so. I'm gonna start with the biggest job. My other half loves books, but is concerned about where the books are gonna go back, which I completely appreciate. I would be exactly the same. He's not keen on color coding. He likes books by subjects, which is great. feeling so stressed right now GB had said to me really look after my books make sure that they don't like get unorganized so when I took them out about five days ago I carried everything in one go I've just seen Amazon fingers crossed it's for me please let it be for me because it's things for this room because I want to do the surprise tonight when I took them out I took them off a bookshelf and I put them down and I've done the same coming in, but as I'm putting them up on the bookshelf, I think where I'm really tired, I think I might be taking them from different piles or they're just not sorted. And he had this pile of books that's to read. And he said, can you leave that pile of books out? So I put a post-it note in them, on, in, the, in, the, in the top book, I just put a post-it note and I can't find the pile. So I'm stressed out, stressed out. Anyway, I'm really hoping that's the door. I'm gonna have to move stuff from the doorway because I've got all like decorating rubbish and stuff to go out. So I'm gonna do my best. I can only but try. It is the door. I'm hoping these are a few bits. I'll just go and get some scissors and we can see what's inside. As I was going out, I've gone and got paint on my hands from near the door. So I'll be back. Little Robert's radio. I've already got a gray one. I love it. So I thought that would be nice a nice present. I've got a big lampshade and then I've got a huge bulb to go in it. But because it's from Ikea, the, the top of the lampshade was too big. So I had to get, what is it called? Like it's like a resizer so that it can fit over the light fitting, but it's not arrived. So I'm gonna put his old light up and then say that he can have that tomorrow. Just found another pile of books. I'm gonna put these away, bring in the reading chair, and then I'm gonna show you a little hack to go in between those bookcases. Different... 
Do you remember that I said I had an Ikea hack for you? Well, here it is. It's something that I've seen on Instagram. So first of all, these were bamboo, but I have painted them to match the sage green color that we've got in the room. These are plate stands. And the idea is that you use the command hooks on the back and you stick them to the wall and then you can put lightweight books inside. It doesn't matter if this goes wrong. It really, really doesn't matter. I'm not worried about it. Another gift has arrived for GB. So this is a cafetiere. And I'm just gonna put that on his coffee table. some notebooks in. I'm quite excited about this. It's just working out where to put them Good does the IKEA hack look? I'm so happy with it. I hope it looks as good on the screen as it does in real life. It's now seven. He's not home. He's being very good. He's staying at work so that I can get this place sorted out. I'm just in the middle of editing the video that you are currently watching about the IKEA hack and there's a few things to say. So unfortunately the IKEA hack didn't work. It did work for two days and then it didn't after that. It fell down in sections and I'm not sure if it's because it was really hot when I was putting the IKEA rack up for the books to go in. On Instagram it says that it works. It didn't work here. The notebooks, were they maybe too heavy? Did I put them up on a really hot day? I'm not sure. GB got home that day around half past nine in the evening. So I just said to him, go and get yourself a nice cold drink. It's been such a hot day. I'm just gonna go and quickly do some filming and then you can come in for the surprise. That day I was so tired. I think I rushed the video footage at the end. I was really keen to get GB in to check over the bookshelves because my fear was that I had muddled the books up. I did muddle the books up. They are still completely muddled. They look lovely on the bookshelf, but they are very much muddled. He doesn't know where any books are at the moment and they have been like that for a few days. For him, having a new office space was a really, really big deal. This is his room. We've now made it a bit of a universal space. So it means I can do some editing in here and it means I can do some admin for my businesses as well, which is really nice to have this space. I don't use the desk as a stand-in desk. I haven't done that once yet. How lazy am I? <laughs> GB does stand. He stands for most of his day, which is fantastic. And that's why we got the stand-in desk in the first place. He absolutely loves his new space. It's not going to be one of those pristine offices. It's a normal lived-in home office space. 